Hi guys, welcome to my channel Vigyan Jyoti. So um, today's topic is direction of electrons and current. Okay. So from the previous video, we have understood this till much. This much is clear. What is charge? What is electric potential? What is current? We have tried to find out the different connections that these physical quantities have. This they these all are except charge. If you see, these all are uh, derived physical quantities. Okay. Now. we have come a long way in understanding various physical quantities like potential charge current how much amount of work is being done what's the potential difference and we have also come up with the two types of materials like conductors insulators now the big very big question that kept in your you know that was that was completely you know poking your head was this then why is the word electron not used frequently then why is the electron word replaced by the word current so from the up till now we have understood that current is completely a concept that's just the ratio between charge and time and if something that is physically flowing through the conductor it's the free electrons till this much we are very much clear now the question comes here why are we are saying this word direction of the current and the direction of the electrons so first of all when the electrons started flowing from this direction okay we we will all we always say that the direction of the conventional current right we often see this word or we often hear this word that is conventional Con what happened is before the discovery of electrons or before you understanding the fact that the current was because of this free electrons the direction of the current was announced that the current all flows from positive terminal of the battery to negative terminal of the battery this is this was the direction of the current right after that they have found out the main the main you can see this particle which is uh, you know which is behind this current electricity is actually there is a physical quantity that existed that is electron so on basis of what then this direction of the current was uh, you know meant or declared so let us see okay so first of all okay you need to understand this thing you know here in this case you need to have a vision right you need to have a vision So in this case, we need to have a vision. I'll just change the color for a while. Uh, I'll just give a purple color. Yeah. Fine. So electron versus current direction. So first, hap first, what happened? You have to understand this thing. We know the electrons flow from this direction, right? It will be flowing in this direction. We know, right? I'll just mark it again. Okay. Now there's there's a deficiency of electrons out here, and there is abundance of amount of electrons. This much we have. We are okay. Now electrons will try to Now here, these electrons will try to compensate this part. These electrons, so we know there's always a gap that has been introduced, right? Okay. Now let us see what is happening. So first of all, when these electrons were there, so when the electrons, so that means if you consider, let's say, I'm just trying to, you know, uh, there are lots of electrons, but I'm just trying to say, let's say first electron was here, so it has jumped. That means here they have created a vacant seat for the electron right that means here it became positive so in this case also when this electrons have jumped from this portion to this portion now this time it is positive and in this case it will no longer remain positive let's say let's say just uh, just an instant i'm talking about okay now when this became positive then the electron has jumped from this place to this place leaving this positive right so in that way now when the electron let's say to compensate this the electron has jumped from this means left the left this place and the electron is coming to this particular point in order to compensate this positive or you can say to uh, satiate the hunger of the electrons then what is happening this electron is coming to this portion right so when this electron has come to this portion we this particular atom will get one a partial positive charge so till this much it's clear once again i repeat So we know there's a deficiency of electrons. So when the deficiency of electrons, all the adjacent electrons will try to come, leaving the atom positive, positive charge, right? Partial positive charge. So each and every electron, let's say this, like let's say me, here was a positive terminal, right? So I have shifted here. Now here's a vacancy created. So another electron has come here. <coughs> Initially this was positive. So when I have switched from this place to this place, then this became, this became positive. Now the electron from those that particular place it will come to here that means here again it will be no normal but again there will be positive so can you see first there was a positive positive charge here then here then here so that means 
if electrons are coming in this direction some positive the atoms trying to be positive or the atoms being positive is in this direction okay so then what happened this electron told that are i have got an adjacent positive atom let me satiate the hunger so the electron will come here so as a result now the electron will come here and the positive charged atom will be like this fine okay now what will happen this electron will say are i want to go here okay so now the electron has come out from this atom making it partial you know positive charge now what happened now again the electron from electron from this atom told i need to satiate the hunger of my adjacent atom this is what we should do for the neighbors so then what happened the electron has come to the satiate the hunger of this atom and this the one who has sacrificed now that atom became again positive so in this way can you see the now first of all i would like to introduce one term called hole okay so whenever any atom is becoming positive we are terming that particular particle as hole now first hole was created here then here that means the whole creation i'm talking about whole creation whole creation is happening in this direction right okay so next case the whole created was this okay now let's see what is the story for uh, next okay so later on that particular uh, hole, hole has given the electron to this particular electron right <coughs> okay again to satiate the hunger of this what happened this atom will give the electron to the adjacent atom okay so after giving the electron it has become okay now then that means the whole again has means the whole article will be the positive atom has shifted to this right so in this way now let us see the last case where the whole first again you can see the whole movement right whole movement means the the you know the atoms becoming positive is happening in this direction right are you getting a vision that the positive positive atoms uh, like the positive the not the atoms this is a one thing to remember the atoms are not moving okay the atoms are fixed but don't you think if you see like a video don't you think the first time this is positive then this is positive then this is positive like this is giving you the vision right so one after the other it's becoming positive okay then what is happening so again uh, you know in a conclusion concluding way you see first this atom was uh, there was a hole this side then it became second position then third then fourth then fifth then sixth right so this is what it became that means if you see if you if you see the circuit again that means the whole movement right the whole movement was in this direction again and again i'm saying whole movement okay whole movement means doesn't mean that any atom is moving no the atoms are fixed the positive ions the positive ions are not the positive ions let better to say the positive atoms i was being positive but i am fixed i was neutralized by the electron that is coming from my adjacent atom this is how i am getting i was getting neutralized but you don't know you were not knowing about the electrons right now you are a normal person who did not have any idea about the electron now what you are saying this is become like if i'm seeing from this direction this will become positive then this then this like this right which was happening in the next one like uh, <coughs> so uh, this whole movement was happening in this direction right so what happened so when the whole movement is happening in this direction so people thought acha that means something is flowing in this direction so what is the direction that has been given here positive that means whole movement was from this direction or not yes or no whole was moving in this direction right the positive the positive um, the feeling the or you can say if you want to see as a vision you see the positive is positive first time this is the atom next the adjacent so like that whole creation was but electrons one electrons is moving in this direction right but holes and holes is moving in means if you see if you uh, consider that the hole is moving in that way the hole is just the opposite direction so here comes the story that before the electrons were uh, discovered that they are the responsible for the current they thought this some positive something was moving so as a result that time they declared they are moving from what positive to negative so as a result they declared that current moves from positive terminal of the battery to the negative terminal of the of the battery this is what they have concluded okay so i'll just go once again revise so the whole movement was in this direction electron movement was in this direction okay so for that reason we told that let's we have to consider that current is moving from positive to negative terminal okay and uh, what is this electron electron is moving from negative to positive 
understood it because electrons are abundant obviously they are abundant so they will obviously move from high concentration to low concentration and holes is what basically the electrons are moving since we were not having any idea about the electrons hence we declared the current direction is this since appliances and everything were already manufactured based on this fact so it did not change hence we always say the conventional current is just the direction is just the opposite to the flow of current okay so that means now again we will draw so what is happening so then we will say the current is flowing in this direction okay so the direction of the current is this and the direction of the electrons will be just the opposite okay fine okay so numericals are always uh, one after the other okay the potential difference across a lamp is 12 volt how many joules of electrical energy are changed into heat and light now we know that work done energy is the capacity to do work so we'll just go with so first of all the data that has been given is that voltage is equal, okay i'll just change the color okay so voltage that has been given is 12 volt okay how many joules of electrical energy are changed to heat okay first of all when what happens when a charge of one coulomb is passing through it okay so the first question first question how much amount of charge means you have to find out work what we know is a product of potential and charge so what is the potential potential is 12 volt and what is the charge that is one coulomb i'm just not running anyways that means total is 12 joules fine okay next question that is a charge 5 coulomb is passing through them that means w is equal to v into q that means 12 into 5 that means 60 joules of work that means that has been that is that means 60 joule of work means 60 joule of energy 60 joule of energy is getting converted to heat and light because we know heat and light are the forms of energy next a current of 2 ampere flows through it for 10 seconds <clears throat> so you have to find out how much amount of work is being done okay i'll solve this uh, c here because since it's a log question okay so we have to find out uh, what we have to find out the work done okay now w that means the work done is v into q right but in this question they told that it's 2 ampere so what i will do is volt q that means q is what product of i and t now is the time given here yeah time is given here okay so we know that i equals to q by t so, right so q is equal to i t so i have just substituted q with i and t now voltage is how much 12 current is how much 2 and time is how much 10 so it's total 240 joules fine very simple whenever we have current just substitute the charge by current and time and you are you're pretty good in it okay next question in 10 seconds the charge of 25 coulomb leaves the battery and the 200 joules of energy are delivered to an outside circuit as a result okay what is the potential difference across the battery okay first what what are the data that we have so first we have the time that's 10 seconds then we have the charge that is 25 coulomb then we have the work done that is 200 joules Make sure you don't write as voltage because voltage unit is V. Now, what is the potential difference? Okay, first potential difference is V and the equation is W by Q. So, it's 200 by 25. So, I just can write 2 into 100 by 25. So, that is total 8 volts, right? My first question is done. Next question, oh, this is A. What current flows from the battery? So, we know i equals to q by t so what's my charge 25 and what's my time 10 so it's 2.5 ampere understood so this is also very easy hmm? okay next a flash of lightning carries 10 coulomb of charge which flows for this much second what is the current okay so first of all 
See, I also don't read the whole question, okay? First, read the part. If it is solvable, please do and then go to the next part. So, flash of lightning contains how much charge? 10 coulomb. Time is 0 0.01 second. Now, what is the current? So, current is definitely Q by T. That means 10 coulomb by 0 0.01. Removing the decimal, it will become 10 into 100 by 1. So, it is total 1000 ampere. Very good. Okay, next. If the voltage is 10 mega volt, mega means 6. That means your voltage is 10 to the power 6 um, volt. Okay, mega means 6. Then what is my energy? So that means energy means work done, which is the product of voltage and charge. So my voltage is 10 to the power 6 and my charge is 10 coulomb. So total it's 10 to the power 7 joule. Or energy that means if that means what is the energy that means 10 to the power 7 that means we have we one crore one crore joules is basically uh, produced not produced as in you can say that it is getting converted into the light and heat of a flash okay it's simple right just remember one mega volt is equal to I have done a mistake here wait one mega volt is 10 to the power 6 then I'm done have mistake no you <coughs> hmm. 10 to the power 6 that means 10 mega volt means 10 into 10 to the power 6 which makes 10 to the power 7 volt right yes I have done the mistake 10 to the power 7 so it will be here 10 to the power 8 okay guys for watching this video if you really find this videos informative and helpful please do subscribe my channel began jockey hit the like button and share it with your dear and near ones and yes please don't forget to comment because your feedback does matter.